Okay? Now stress. Stress is fucked up. We here in America, we stress the fuck out of ourselves. An older man that I met, uh, the creator of dry water, um, I'm not going to tell you his name, but if you look at dry water, he created this uh, liquid, liquid, a gel water, right? And uh, he created this so he could grow trees uh, where there's no water. So, this is a brilliant older man. He's brilliant. And he told me that young people invite stress. Older people try their best to avoid stress by all means. We as Americans are fucking stressed out. Now why? Why are we stressed out? First of all, we don't earn enough money to take care of ourselves. Uh, certain percentage does, but the average American does not earn enough money to physically take care of his or herself. So you need more than one income. It's not like Grandpa and Grandpa all those many years ago. I can't find it in the cell phone. So, uh, you know, look at it. And, um, Grandpa had a job and he worked in one place. Uh, Grandma might have had a job and worked in one place. Now the average job, I don't think, lasts four or five years. I don't think that we can get jobs in America that will last four or five years. Why do you think we're in this housing slump? It's because there's no jobs. People migrate to where the jobs are. If you don't have a job, you're stressed out. Now, me personally, I have jobs. I don't have a career. My wife says, you need a career. I'm damn near 40 years old. The career has passed me by. Um, stress. The fact that you want to try to keep up with yourself is stressful. Like I said, a lot of people don't have money for anything. Um, a friend of mine says, uh, I'll pay you to take my son to school every morning. You know, he can't catch the bus. I'm like, okay, you know, no problem. You know, uh, you know, if I'm not working, I'll take him to school until I am working. Here's the deal. Put $10 of gas, worth of gas in the car the other day. $4 and I think it's like seven or eight cents a gallon. How much gas did I actually get? Two fucking gallons of gas. Two gallons. Man, not even almost three gallons for ten dollars. I drive the kid way across the other side of town and back. The gas light came back on. Um, it's fucked up. Everything is stressful. Mortgage payments. Um. Shit, the fucking cell phone payments. Um, everything is stressful. Um, if you don't have enough, it's stressful. If you don't clean up enough, it's stressful. If you don't build enough, it's stressful. If you can't feed your family, it's stressful. As you can see, I, I live pretty good. You know, I got some bad teeth. But other than that, you know, but everything is limited. What I'm trying to say is this. We can't help other people until we can help ourselves. We can't help ourselves until we can fix this problem of employment, housing, and basic human respects. Um, somebody said something about uh, Canada, United States, and Mexico becoming one nation. Throw away the U.S. Constitution. Blah, 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 blah. Don't you fucking think that is going to be the most stressful time in American history when they knock the borders down and we still can't go to Canada and get some free health care and we still can't go down to Mexico and homestead? Um, we're living in the most stressful time in human history. We are always at odds with ourselves. We always fight for a cause that has nothing to do with us and we lose uh, someone asked um, on one of these videos I saw who won the Vietnam War and the little girl said the United States did how can you win a war and you no longer occupy the country 
you no longer even deal with the people of the country pretty much how could, how could we have won Vietnam I don't know I don't know I wasn't there um, shock and awe you know we bombed the hell out of Iraq and we're still there fighting a war on terror that can never end yada 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 because we have no we don't have one nation to fight all these other conspiracy theories and everything you know all this new world order shit everything that you go through on YouTube is fucking stressful you find a good video or somebody good to watch and you know and you like their shit I know not everybody likes everything I do not everything I do is good not everything I do is funny not everything I do even makes sense to me when I go back and look at it but I can understand what I'm saying I can understand where I come from in what I say and you know the stress video is true people are stressed out pissed off and scared people are worried about tomorrow um, the older you get the more you see the wiser you get the less you speak so in saying what I just said it saddens me to report to all the people who come to the real AIX. It's sad for me to say what I'm about to say. Because it's the truth. We all live in a form of bullshit. We all have been sent through these tests constantly to see where our minds are. Something or someone is testing us to see if we're ready for something. I truly believe we're beyond ready. If some shit's going to go down, it needs to go down now while I'm physically able to fight off a few. But if it continues to get worse, I might just be like all these other people and just say, you know, bring it, fuck it. I don't care. And sit there and allow myself to be evaporated. Because I'm tired of this stressed out bullshit. Um, I watched this one video and they had a picture of a uh, uh, video of old Ronald Reagan saying that the world won't be united until there's some force from the stars to come down or something to galvanize us to make us want to fight for one cause. Now shouldn't we have already tried to fight for one cause? Shouldn't us as a species already have tried to fight for a cause Shouldn't we have already tried to save our own existences? But no. We are created for profit. Pretty soon the economically non-feasible will be phased out. Or phased out. I'm not trying to be economically non-feasible. I want to earn something for the masters to control me until I die. I don't want to be one of those ones they say, you know, you yeah, haven't worked in a couple of years now. I think we need to just pull your plug. Life itself is stressful. And we shouldn't have to worry about other outside influences or anything else. We as a species should have already evolved to the point to where we didn't have too much worry. But we didn't. The divine conquer has made us all bitter, stressful, and scared to fucking death. Um, you know, I don't know how much sense you can get out of this video, but this shit stresses me out. If I can't do what I gotta do, I'm stressed. Um, right now the stress is on me so tough. It's 8.16 in the morning, and I'm thinking about having a drink. Am I an alcoholic? Am I a fool? Am I an idiot? I'm stressed. There's people who wake up and turn the... <laughs> oh. As soon as they wake up, or the guy who gets up out of bed, <laughs> we shouldn't have to get up and medicate ourselves to go through today. So, take the stress that you have right now for two seconds, three seconds, and just wish it away. And if you're successful for a few seconds, then you've been tubed.